What's up, fight fans? Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, main man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this, man. So we know that Jerron Boost Ennis has got the victory over Karen Chuck John last night. And which Jerron Ennis basically pitched a shutout, fight fans. He won basically all 12 rounds on all judges' scorecards. We know that the final score was 100 to 88. So that's basically a shutout, fight fans. So congratulations to Jerron Ennis winning the IBF interim title, a belt that I hope that he may want to look to drop. But if he holds on to it, winning the IBF interim title and now being taken out of the ranks of the other sanctioning bodies. And so, you know, good stuff for Jerron Ennis, man. But uh, we know it's his, his performance is kind of being criti criticized this morning. This is the first time that any boxing fan has ever seen Jerron Ennis go the full 12 rounds. And so, you know, criticism is going to fly because we're still learning about Jerron Ennis and his development. And we're trying to see how good that he really is going to become. Now, last night, fight fans, I don't have too many critical uh, points to say against Jerron Ennis. I mean, he, he fought a good fight. He stalked the dude. The dude didn't come to fight. He came to survive. You know what I mean? He didn't come to a boxing match. He came to a track meet last night. I mean, the guy just was moving, 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 moving. Uh, not much willing to engage. I think in the first two rounds, man, that guy had to throw about five punches, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he just didn't want to engage. But normally when you have an opponent like that, you got to figure that out, right, fight fans? And this is always interesting to see when a younger fighter, can, when he faced this type of uh, opponent, can he figure him out and get him out of there? Now, Jerron Ennis, he imposed himself. He tried to stalk uh, Chuck John last night, but Chuck John was kind of slick on the upper body and, uh, and, and doing some decent counter punching. Jerron Ennis was loading up on a lot of shots and he was missing fight fans. And he was connecting too. I mean, and he was definitely outworking Chuck John by a mile. But he was doing some missing. Some folks believe that, you know, he wasn't cutting the ring off properly. I think a sense of urgency in Jerron started to kind of fizzle out a little bit as the fight kind of progressed. But that's anybody. He says he got bored in the fight. Man, you know, it was, uh, it was a great experience. I felt great. You know, I, I was in great shape, phenomenal shape. You know, uh, I just, you know, I'm not mad at myself, but like, I should have picked it up a little bit more, like step on the gas a little bit more, throw, throw a little bit more punches and things like that. But you know, it's, it's experience. It's coming, that's what it comes to the game. And you, man, and you only won. I mean, fought one time last year. You know, I mean, we know we stay busy at least two or three times a year. You know, so we everybody's waiting around to see what Spence and Crawford was going to do. You see, everybody was waiting. Like, yes, the Lone is waiting. You had Thurman waiting. You know what I mean? Yeah, all of them, uh, top guys were in OT. Everybody was waiting, so that's why we didn't get the the fights that we normally get. You know what I mean? He, he, he still wasn't rusty, though, but he just didn't get his hand low enough for me. I thought his cut in the ring off wasn't that bad. His feet could have been a little bit more fast to sure. Uh, but I think he was more so dependent on his length more than his feet last night, and that could have been more of an issue because I noticed even when he was stalking Chuck John, and he'll get to a point he was looking to swing from the outside fight fans. He was not really looking to get into a closer quarters and maybe throw some little short shots. And I thought he would have had more success if he would have done that. I believe in like round eight was his best round, man, because he used he was using his jab to make it to the inside. And when he got there, he would stay there. And he would get there and he would turn at the waist and use those hooks on the inside and kind of dig, dig, dig that away grinding his opponent down much more faster and i think that that was his best round of the fight and i say that that's what he needs more of right there using his length to make it to the inside but once he get there using the short quick shots to finish the guy off once he gets there jerron was uh pot shot and jabs from the outside uh uh throwing uh long right hands and long left hands from the outside and I said to myself, it's going to be hard to keep hitting this guy because he's moving so much and you're just looking for outside shots. That's been one of the things that I've always crit been critical of Jerron Ennis on, and that's the fact of abandoning the short, quick shots uh, as for favoring the long, uh, thudding shots. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. He's fast. You know, he got some pop on his punches from the outside. But sometimes you got to let your feet do more work than your hands, fight fans. And then... And, and I think that Jerron Ennis abandoned his feet working more than his hands. He was allowing his hands to work more than his feet. And this is something that goes along with a learning curve, man. It's not like nothing that's, you know, a negative 
towards Jerron Ennis, man. You know, Philly fans, y'all got to stop being so sensitive about that. It's just criticism, you know what I mean? But the thing is, no one can say he's a bad fighter. No one can say he doesn't look like the next thing up. Uh, no one can say he ain't on his way. You feel me? Only thing that people can say is, yeah, well, we see a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But that's any fighter that's moving up and maturing uh, through their career. But all in all, man, I thought that was a decent performance. Now, the word statement, fight fan, statement is a big deal. See, statement can't be given by just a fan. You know, you can't be a fan of the fight and say, oh, I love this performance. And so he made a statement. It don't work that way. Statement means you win the actual boxing public. You win the public over, uh, oh, so I say majority of the public over as a whole. You know what I mean? And in that building last night, in Jerron's post fight, it was quiet, fight fans. Even a few boos. You may be a fan of Jerron Ennis, but however, Jerron Ennis had an opportunity to win more fans last night, and unfortunately, that did not happen. Not at too much fault to Jerron Ennis, once again, because he didn't get the dude out of there. But I, I just, it just the way the ball bounces sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? You In those moments, you just got to figure it out. And then you got to make that statement. See, that's what makes Gary Antoine Russell's win so good, fight fans. The guy that actually beat Jerron Ennis. That's what makes him so good because he's not only figuring these tough dudes out that like to move and jab and stay mobile. He's figuring these dudes out. But on top of that, he's figuring them out and then getting their asses up out of there. That's called putting that statement on it. That's called putting that exclamation point on it. You know what I'm talking about? That's how I got to go down, fight fans. And, you know, he failed to unfortunately put the exclamation point. He did a good performance. I mean, it was like I said, it was a shutout. It was a shutout, but when you got these unknown cats and guys who people figure is not is nowhere near on your level, you got to get rid of these dudes, man. That's what helps build your profile in today's boxing. You got to give them that viral knockout, you know what I mean? And so that's where the criticism comes. But Foz's performance as a whole, I mean, look, I judge it as a, I'd say if I had to give it a take, I'd say an A minus. You know what I'm saying? Just those inside short, quick shots, man. He got to kind of depend on that a little bit more. When he do that, man, he's a much, much better fighter, man. And uh, I almost do wonder going forward, man, will Jerron Ennis uh, have an issue at certain ranges because he just doesn't like to stay at certain ranges for so long. He loves that outside, and he loves to use his length. Um, this is something that Terrence Crawford had to deal with throughout of his career. He's a guy that got a lot of reach, you know what I mean? And so working those little check hooks and those short shots – they become challenging at times for these kind of guys. You know what I'm saying? But over time, he, he can get it down. And I think he's going to be okay. You know, what lies ahead in the future, fight fans, we're just going to see. And we're going to talk more about that on the live stream. I heard news that uh, um, uh, the Stanley Onis and Virgil Ortiz fight is going to be perhaps postponed due to an injury suffered by, e by Eamon to Stanley Onis. I don't see no reason why we shouldn't be talking about Virgil and Boots. But then again, if Boots is going to accept this IBF interim title... We can't talk about Boots basically versus no one except Earl Spence Jr., right? So we'll see. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, 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 rock the bells, man. All in all, decent performance. Unfortunately, it was a lukewarm performance, fight fans. And you can say what you want as a fan, but he didn't win the overall public, unfortunately. And it's no fault to him. It's because of the kind of guy he was fighting, but he just didn't do it. You can tell, once again, in the post-fight interview, the crowd was quiet, man. There was, no, there was even a few boos. So... Statement, unfortunately, not made, but still seen in a highlight. And his future is very, very bright. So we'll see. To the next video. Peace out.